Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing new component speakers on this 2010 Dodge Charger. What we're going to show you in this install is how to remove the door panel, factory speaker, and tweeter up in the dash. Uh, on the test bench, get the new speaker all assembled with the brackets and everything needed. Reassembly of the door panel and a test. So first thing to get these door panels on. You're going to notice typically you have a cover over the screw hole. This, one, this one's been this. This door's been taken apart before. Hopefully it's not too bad. So you'll have a screw there, and then in the little hand pair, the handle, you pop open that little door. And again, there's another screw. Go ahead and remove that. And now across the bottom, there's going to be a couple more screws. Go ahead and remove those. Once those are off, then you'll notice on both ends here, there's actually these little clips. So you push in the center here. I'm not going to do that here, but when you push in the center, you can actually pop these on out once that center's pushed in. Now we don't actually need to take this top one out because it's for the upper trim, which doesn't need to come off. So what you'll do is pull the center back out when you're ready to reinsert it and then push the pin back in. Now you'll have some up and around the bottom half. Again, this door panel's been off, so they're missing. There is one on this side, so we're gonna take that one out. Just like that. Now on the inside of the door, there's gonna be a little handle and just undo the, this guy here. There's a little clip that holds it on. And then you'll have the two harnesses for the door. Go ahead and disconnect those two. And once those are disconnected, the door will come free. Now you'll see here, we have our six by nine. We're gonna go ahead and remove those. Now it is a Torx bit, so we're gonna grab that here. Looks like a T15 Torx bit. then disconnect the harness. All right, speaker's free. So let's head to the test bench and get our new speaker all wired up. So here on the bench, we decided to go with these Alpine type S's. These are component speakers. Now we picked up these universal six by nine to six and a half adapters, allowing us to put our six and a half in the factory six by nine location. If you're looking just to do a quick replacement, you can just pick up six by nine and bolt it right in. Um, since we're doing a component set, we decided to actually go with this. We also picked up these little tweeter adapters too for Dodge and Chrysler. And it come with plenty of screws to get those mounted. Got these all good to go. Now additionally, we picked up the Metro wiring harness. These are the 72-6514 for Dodge and Chrysler vehicles. Okay, so we went ahead and hooked in our wiring harness. Now, these Alpines are designed that you actually hook the, the tweeter, the crossovers into these into these other spade terminals on the back of the speaker. Uh, but since the, the tweeter on this vehicle is in the dash, we won't use those and we'll wire directly into the speaker terminals in the dash itself. So this is all good to go. This will plug right into the factory speaker harness and we'll go get this mounted up. All right, so here's your harness. What these will do is just plug right into each other. As you can see there. Okay, door pedal all back in, everything works. Nice and clean, let's go ahead and work on the tweeter. Now this model actually does not have a tweeter, believe it or not. So, we're gonna put one in and wire it into the car. Here's our Type S tweeter that came with our components and our little adapters.
Here's their crossover. Now let's go get these wired into the car. Now here's the tweeter. If you notice you don't have a tweeter here installed, that's okay. Uh, they still will actually wire it. You'll notice that the wiring harness will be just tucked back in there, taped to um, a beam or another wiring harness. So you can pull that tape off. We did so. We wired in our new tweeter. The uh, gray with the yellow stripe is negative, and then gray with a purple stripe is positive. We used butt connectors. You can try and solder in here, but you run the risk of burning things around this area. So I just used butt connectors. It's a quick connection. We're going to put our crossover in there and get our tweeter mounted with two screws. Now we pop this down just so we can make sure we mount our crossover that's just hanging down there. We'll probably zip tie it up to that uh, wiring harness right up there just so it doesn't put any uh, strain on the wiring. Other than that, we'll put the cover back on. That's it guys. If you have any questions about this install, just go and post a comment below. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video.